Hey guys, Matt here from the Jaya World Tour. I am uh, in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm at a hostel here, and I'm about to switch my side bags, or what you might refer to if you ride a bicycle, handlebar bags. I'm switching from the oversized Arkle uh, handlebar bag to the high visibility um, Ortley waterproof uh, handlebar bags. Let me get into why I chose to do this switch and what are the positives and negatives to each one of these. Okay, so I've ridden with the uh, Arkle handlebar bags, aka side bags, for uh, a number of years now. I do enjoy them. They are huge. They are fairly waterproof and they get the job done. They're very rugged. But I've downsized the gear set that I have and I thought it would be nice to actually reduce the amount of width on my handlebar bags. Arkel does have a series of different handlebar bags that are of different sizes, but I decided to go with uh, Ortlieb panniers, Ortlieb bags, so the Ortlieb handlebar bags were a good choice to go with. Uh, they have a few other positives as well, but let me get into that later. First, let me talk about Arkel. I want to do justice to them before I say that I'm switching away from them. Now, when I first started my tour, I had some heavy cameras. I had a DSLR 5D Mark III with a couple of pieces of glass. That means lenses. I had Bluetooth speakers. I had wallets and doodads, all sorts of trinkets and whatnot. And so I needed, or I thought I needed, the biggest uh, bag possible. I also have a recumbent trike. I ride a recumbent trike and I sit in a chair and that chair has mounts that you can build on either side. So what you might have on a bike doing this, you now have on a trike doing this and this. So these are the bags that I access when I'm on the road and riding around. These positives and negatives can probably go just as well for bikes as opposed to trikes. So take it for what it's worth. The Arkel oversized handlebar bags or large handlebar bags are a fantastic uh, bag. I really do like them. They're made of high quality material. They're made in Canada, so the stitching and everything is done uh, with a lot of tender loving care. They have a plastic support piece that goes in the lid that gives you that nice uh, solid curvature. The material is, I would say, waterproof one to 10. Um, I would say it's waterproof to about a seven. They do have a drain that is on the bottom here. You can see here a grommet. And a lot of times you'll have water that'll actually splash up into the bags from the bottom. I have had these bags in a deluge. And I have to admit that um, it did get a little soggy on the interior area, but it never permeated all the way through to the contents within the bag. It just made the entire bag soggy. So like I, could keep this inner area, which is yellow, actually zips out. This is a waterproof uh, pouch, and this waterproof pouch obviously will not get wet. You'll have this top area that will deflect all the water around, and it'll go down the sides, and it'll soak everything around it, but it won't get into the center part. I think that is different than the way that things will work when I ride with my Orly painters, but we'll talk about that later. The uh, pouch here, and these are full of nice stuff. I'm gonna to have to transfer it all to my Orly bags. Um, is very spacious. You can put almost any anything in this thing, from a 5D Mark III, a big old DSLR or whatever, and it'll hold the weight, it'll hold it all. I also like that it has a strap here that you can grab and you can carry your bag around if you don't wanna throw it over your shoulder, which it has shoulder strap uh, attachments here and here. And the shoulder strap attachments are regular clip style, so you can put whatever shoulder strap you want on these ends and carry it over your shoulder. But oftentimes, as long as I zipped these edges up, I could carry it like this, and it was uh, a pretty good, decent way to carry it around. I also had a drone, and I have a drone, but I had a uh, bigger drone before. It was a Mavic Pro, and that Mavic Pro fit in these bags quite perfectly with like three or four batteries. So actually, one side of my uh, seat was for droning, and the other side of my seat was for cameras and uh, navigational gear and some food and whatnot. And I filled them up pretty good. But I think I also filled them up because I had the space. You know how we get. We, if we have a lot of space, we fill a lot of space. Some other good things about the uh, Arkle handlebar bags is that it has a pocket, mesh pocket on one side. I don't know where that came from. And it has a uh, pouch on the other side. I normally put my business cards in there so they're easy to grasp. They have a more business cards. They have a pouch that's inside the outside pouch 
which when you're riding and you need to grab something really quick, it's probably the quickest access that I had on the trike was accessing that one pocket, boom, boom, I can access that. It also had a outer pocket there, which has a bunch of currency from different countries at the moment. This, this bag was quite nice. Often if you're on a bicycle, you only need one, obviously it's in front of your handlebars. But for me, I had the opportunity to have two and I like that because uh, when you're riding a recumbent trike, you can't access your uh, panniers very easily. Whereas maybe if you're riding a cycle, you can reach forward and access your front panniers if you have those. And uh, these worked out really well. But what changed? I got a new drone. My new drone is this big. The old drone was about yay big. And my new drone is about this big. The old drone was about yay big. So um, I reduced that quite a bit and the weight is quite reduced as well. The batteries are lighter, everything's lighter. My camera, the one that you're watching me on right now, is a small Canon G7X Mark II and so I can slam that thing into almost any size container without any worry. So other than that, I've got like a Bluetooth speaker but often my Bluetooth speaker is mounted on the frame of the bike so that I can hear it. And so I think I've limited the amount of stuff that I have to where I don't need uh, these big bags anymore. Um, I decided also that seeing as though I'm in Taiwan and it's typhoon season, I'm gonna go 100% waterproof. In doing that, um, I have a limited amount of options. This is, they say this is 100% waterproof, and I would say that it is pretty much waterproof, especially with regards to the contents inside, and that is the most important, right? If your electronics are inside, I never had any water getting in there. But the entire bag, would get so soggy that the space here or the space uh, between this material and the inner yellow bag here would fill up with, uh, with water and get soggy and dirty and muddy. And I would end up, so under this, this piece, you have a foam pad that sits at the bottom and uh, water would permeate into this area and just soak it and uh, oftentimes I'd have to like air it out and try to unscrew these all these plastic uh, components that hold its shape and uh, it just was frustrating. Um, the other thing that makes the two bags different is the cam method now or the attachment method whatever you'd like to say these are the sliding clamps that you attach this bag to uh, either your handlebars or either side of my seat. Um, the way that these work is they slide on two nuts, basically, and they slide on that way. The problem I've had with this bag is that you'd have so much weight pushing down here that the frame, the plastic frame that held this bag uh, in form would sort of pop out and you'd have like um, a deformation or a twisting that would happen and it was very hard to get it to sit correctly. I was kind of having OCD on the road and I wanted these things to sit very nicely, very cleanly so that I could access my stuff at a moment's notice and a lot of times these things would torque and twist and sometimes if this thing got wet and really heavy this outer bag would just kind of slide down and I would have to tweak uh, the clamps that held uh, this plastic frame in place. Not a deal killer by any stretch, but uh, the fact that Ortlieb makes a uh, bag that's a little bit smaller, that's 100% waterproof and a little bit lighter, made the Ortlieb bag a little bit more of a better choice. So first, let's do a little comparison. Here is the Arco bag, and here is the Ortlieb. I'll line them up clamp to clamp. So if this one's sitting here and here, so, you can see that the Orly bag sits a little lower if they're clamped at the same place. The Arco bag sits a little higher on the top, but you can see the depth is quite different. Like this bag is quite thinner as opposed to this bag. If you turn them this way, you can see they're about the same width. Uh, let's see. The Arco bag is a little bit wider, but by not much at all. And then if you look at them this way, they're about the same size as far as that profile looks. So they're a little bit smaller than the Arco, which in this case for me, seeing as though I'm downsizing my gear is really important. The other thing is that they're much lighter. I'll check out exactly how heavy this one is and this one is, but these, you can feel it, they're lighter. They don't have that inner compartment that separates from the uh, outer wall. It's simply a 100% waterproof bag. 
and the inner wall and the outer wall are the same as opposed to the Arco bag that has that inner pouch that's separated from the outer wall and it has that big plastic component that's kind of holding those two pieces together. It also has a nice little inner pocket bag, which I like. I like to have some little opportunities to stay organized in different ways. It has some side bags on it, not quite as big as the uh, Arco bag, but I think they will do their job. I can put a bike tool there or, or something. The lid is uh, not so durable as the Arco bag, but I don't think it needs to be. Um, it locks down with magnets. So these magnets, you can see that lock the lid down and the shoulder straps are pretty strong as well the only problem with these shoulder straps is that they're special you can't use a normal clip style clip to clip onto these openings not very well you might be able to finagle it but they're designed specifically for these types of clips good and bad these are really good clips good quality whatnot but um i already can't find my other strap i, I must have lost it on my way here from the united states if they're that easy to lose, and once I lose these straps, I have to depend on either carrying them by this little loop here, or carrying them under my arm like this. And I would much rather have a strap over my shoulder than dealing with that. The Arco bag's loop is actually attached to the lid. So if I pull on this, it actually lifts the lid opening. And I think that's what it's designed for. It's designed for you to lift the lid off. But it doesn't have any other way to get hand on the bag to carry it around. Otherwise you have to grab underneath the uh, mechanism that is supposed to attach to the, to the, the frame. And I don't necessarily like that. Uh, not a deal killer, but something I'd like to bring up. Now the mechanism that attaches the uh, bike bag to your either handlebars or my uh, sides of my seat is interesting and I can't give quite a 100% review yet because I haven't really tried it out and mounted it to my trike. Well one thing that I do like about it is that it's locking. It has a lock on it. A double-edged sword obviously. If I lose this key I lose the ability to lock my, my back but I think it's still pretty cool. And then what you do is you simply take the uh, area there and you slide the bag up, down, and then when you release this it actually locks it down. Uh, one more thing about these Ortlieb uh, side bags is they're made of this high visibility material. When a light shines on this bag, it illuminates like crazy. And although it's not the Jayo yellow, Jayo is sort of more of this sort of a tinge yellow, I think that uh, the higher visibility aspect of it is going to make it quite, quite better. And so I'm very curious to use these on the road. Both of these bags have been really good to me. I would recommend both of these bags depending on what you are using it for. Um, but uh, for now I'm going to give these Arco side bags a try and see if maybe I can make another one of these videos in about a month to tell you how it went and how uh, my idea of these bags being better played out in real life. So there you go, a comparative video between the Ortlieb High Visibility Handlebar Bag and the large Arco Handlebar Bag.